Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video, we're going to make some improvements to the door. So, first, we're going to add this real door mesh, and also, we are going to make so that you can only interact with the door from the door handle or knob, like this. So, yeah, let's get started. First, you want to go to the link in the description and you want to download this door one folder. And after that, you want to go to the models and you want to import that whole folder. You want to set the uniform scale to one and import. Import all and import. Like this, you should have all the materials and everything already correct. And now what we have to do, we want to go first to the door one static mesh. Here what we want to do, we want to go to the show and show our simple collision. And you can see it, the collision is, why is this lagging so much? Collision is a little bit off. So what we want to do is we want to go to the collision and we want to remove collision. Then we want to add Box simplified collision. Okay, now it's a lot better, but one thing that you can see is it's a lot thicker. So let's click on the collision and click R on our keyboard and let's scale it down. So actually, let's go a lot closer and let's change the scaling to this smallest. Okay, and now. Hmm. Why does this work like this? Okay. So I had to uncheck this so I can freely move it. Okay, you want to make it pretty much the thickness of the door because we want to add here a collision that you can interact uh, with so you can open the door. And if this door's own collision is super thick, then this col it, it will uh, collide with this door knobs collision and it will not work very well. So, yeah. Okay, let's save, let's close, and now let's go to the door frame one. Here also show simple collision and let's remove collision. Now let's add a box simplified collision, of course, and let's click on the collision, press R again scale it down to this super small block like this, press W and let's move it to here. Now let's keep Alt pressed and let's move so it will duplicate it and let's move it to here. And one more time, Alt and let's move it to the middle and now R and let's scale it back down. And let's scale it to the other direction. Like this. Now let's move it upwards until it hits the frame. And it doesn't, so we will have to set this to something smaller, to five. It doesn't, so I will set it to one. Okay, now it's pretty good. So let's save, let's close, and now we want to go to the blueprints and to the interactable folder and to the door. And to the wheel part. Then we want to go to its front size uh, side. So you can see from here, the X is pointing this way. So this is our front side, basically. Okay, now what we want to do here is we want to actually add a new, sorry, we want to select the default scene root and add a new static mesh. Let's call this door frame. Let's select our door frame uh, mesh, door frame one. Okay, now we want to rotate these 90 degrees, so it's positive 90 on the set axis. And now, uh, let's select our 
door. Okay. And let's set all the scales to one. And now we want to select the door one static mesh. Like this. Also rotation set to 90 and set location to zero and it will already be on the right spot. Now we want to set the right material for it, so door one uh, material. Yeah, as you can see, it's starting to look pretty good. Now one more thing that we have to do here is we will have to change this inch Y location to minus 57. Now we have to set the door uh, location to positive 57. Now it will be on the middle. And now when we rotate the hinge, see it will work like it's supposed to work. And now what we want to do next is we actually want to select the door and we want to add a collision, sphere collision. And we want to set the X location to zero. Actually, uh, what? Sorry, I mean, we want to set it to 50. And then we want to set the set location to 95. So it will be on the middle of the door knob here. And then we set our sphere radius to something smaller. So for example, eight. And you can see, I think that's actually pretty good. You can make it bigger or smaller. You can make it however you want. But I like it to be a little bit bigger than the actual door knob. So, add, so it's like easier to uh, interact with it. Okay, now let's rename this collision to interaction collision like that and it should be under door and it already was that's the reason why it threw it away from there okay and yeah now the interact icon we want to set the x location to 50 and set location to 95 also so it will be on the same location And yeah, I actually think it's pretty good there, but you can adjust it however you want. Now the interaction I can show collision. One thing that I also want to do here is I want to change this interaction I can show collision to a little bit bigger. I also want to make the interaction trace a little bit bigger. So let's change it to 125. Now let's compile, let's save, and yeah, let's go to the third person map and let's go to the blueprints and let's go to the PP player character. Now, what we have to do here is we actually want to move all these code a little bit further. Actually, I think a lot further. So oh, let's move it all to maybe here. Now from here, what we want to do, we want to first get the hit component and we want to check if is valid and this one with the question mark, like this. And then what we want to do is we want to also get from the hit component and we want to check if has tag Component has tag. Okay, and let's add a branch to the is valid. So B and left click, and let's connect this to the condition. So we're checking if the component is valid, and also we are checking if it has the tag because we will set a tag to the component to the interaction collision that we can interact with. So tag, let's call it interact, for example. Now you want to copy it, or at least remember it exactly. Compile, say, and go back to the door and do the interaction collision. 
here we want to search for a tag and we want to add a component tag. Then we want to paste that tag here or write it if you remember it, but it has to be exactly. And now compile and save. Now what this code does is it checks that uh, it component has to tag and if it does, then what we want to do, we can actually continue back here. And yeah, I don't think we have to move it that far, but we will have to add a few more things here. So yeah, so if it has tag and if the hit component is valid, we can continue. But if it's not, then what we want to do, we want to get from the interaction, we want to get to can interact and we want to set it to false. Like this. Then what we want to do is we want to get the interaction hit actor ref and we want to set focus here. And then we want to connect it and connect this can interact to this focus. Or you can just leave it false, it doesn't matter, it does the same thing. And then we want to go to the ref and get the hard ref under here. Actually, let's move this a little bit further down. Now from the hard ref, we want to set interact action text like this. And text will be empty and can interact will be false. Simple as that. Now that you have connected it from this false, you also want to connect it from here is not valid. Like that. So now when we compile, we save all. Actually, we have to change the interaction range still. I forgot about that. So interaction range, let's set it to 125. Like that. Compile, and save. Let's see what happens now. So now, when my game starts to work, when I go closer, you can see you don't see the interaction thing anymore with the door. But here, with this, you also can see it. And why is that? And that is because I forgot one thing. Let's go back to the door. And here, let's select our interaction collision. Here on the collision preset, we want to open this and you can see our visibility is set to overlap instead of block. So let's change this collision preset to custom and let's set this visibility to block. Okay, now it will work. So compile, save, third person map and let's play. Now when we go here, when we look the door handle, you can see we can interact with it. But here anymore we can't, nor here. And like I told you, you can make the interaction collision smaller if you want. Also, if you try to interact from here, you can see you can do it from here. But when you go here, you cannot because the door frame is blocking the uh, interaction basically. So yeah, I think it's looking pretty nice and it is also working. So yeah. I actually think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you in the next one. Bye.